and we're back. So we're going to go on with the next episode, and we're going to continue on. We're searching in this direction. We're going to keep looking until we can find something again. No starter ship. Permadeath at its maximum settings. No HUD, as you can see. So I cannot see anything except what my binoculars show me. I can zoom in on stuff, but that's about it. And I can just check things out. So we're trying to gather up resources. We're trying to gather up money. We, we you know, to in, just in case we can buy a ship and we come across a trading platform. But we're at about five and a half, close to six hours now of running with what appears to be no end in sight. So the key to this is always to get up to the higher points and take a look around. So in case you're coming to this, if in case this is the first episode you're watching and not my... Um, I actually don't know how many episodes I've done of this so far. I've done a lot. I'd have to check. I'm not looking at it right now. In case you haven't been watching from the beginning, now you know what the, what the difficulty is here. So basically... I can either buy a ship or I can find a crashed ship. So I'm not looking for the ship that supposedly I need to go to and fix. And we have to do it without dying. So we're in extreme conditions here. We have to be on a hot planet. But I've been lucky enough to acquire um, upgrades to my exosuit. Which now I'm really low and I, wasn't, I don't get any warnings about anything too. So... There we go. And we're going to do some phosphorus. There we go. Got to keep an eye on that. I always forget when I end up getting damaged. So, And, you know, if we get some more upgrades, that'll be great. Hopefully not ship upgrades like I've been getting. Nope, we're up to 544 nanites, though. So that's good. And, of course, we cannot see the technology, the very technology, so we're having to carve out mountainsides to find it. I'll carve behind and to one side. We're looking for that distinctive glow in the dirt. Go over here. And carve down here, too. And unless it's buried really deep, I don't see it. Now remember, this is not a live show. So, telling me in the comments, hey, it was to your left. Well, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to be there anymore. Uh, so. Let's just check over here real quick. Yeah, I don't see it. Nothing here. Okay. We will just recharge our... multi-tool real quick. What? I hate when it does that. Use the, use the technology I gave you. Okay, good. Alright, so we're heading... There's our planet, so we're heading this way. So don't lose your train of direction here, like Jason does all the time. And we shouldn't get lost. Though I guess we kind of are lost, right? I'm the premise behind this. Oh, we're coming, up, coming upon daylight finally. Patches of sodium, those would be really handy at the very beginning, let me tell you. Like that one and the one behind me, two of them, go figure. Thank heavens the sentinels aren't attacking me every inch of the way. That would have been annoying. You know what's going to be really neat? 
Again, spoiler alert for those who don't want to listen, skip ahead a minute. With the new update with the corrupted planets, we get a permadeath run on a corrupted planet. Oof. That is going to be intense. That'll be like a keeper. You know, the rare update that'll... Well, pardon me, the rare run that'll have you starting on a corrupted planet and you're just running for your life every single step of the way. I mean, all you can do is fight them over the mining beam at first, so... I'm in a new region. That's what that music means. Which is a good time to look around, because that is going to tell you if you've found something. Let's get up to the top of this strange hill. Okay, just more damaged machinery in the distance. That looks like a land... <gasps> no. It's probably just damaged machinery. Nope, just damaged machinery, no ship. Ah, so close. I will head there anyway, but... Yeah, I'm gonna get up to that peak afterwards, but let's go ahead and head there. Because it would be really neat if it turns out that just that the ship doesn't show up, but... No, nothing there. Save point as well. Then we'll get up to the peak and take a look around. Why couldn't you be a crash ship, my friend? It gives us some nanites, which just only gives us about 10 nanites. No big deal. Uh, what do we got? Besides that, which we're getting rid of. Uh, let's see. We're going to charge you up while we're here. Charge you up. And charge you up. Okay. All right. Let's go up to the top of the surface of this thing. So not bad. Seven minutes in, we found ourselves a... I don't know, what would you call that? A campsite? Just a landing area, that's all it was. For a ship that doesn't exist. Getting a good view of things, but I am not seeing anything at the moment. Binoculars aren't gonna help me. Get over to that peak at some point too. Okay, just wanted to take a look closer look at that a little bit further down. I just see something that looks like a graphic glitch. I just want to check it out, make sure it isn't like unburied technology as it's called. And it is unburied technology. Wow, so if I can see that, hmm, interesting. Interesting, I can't get to it, because it's too high up. There's a way around that. Uh... Bet you didn't. I bet you forgot your terrain manipulator could do that. Why is it called the terrain manipulator then? It doesn't just dig. It can create as well. Uh, where'd you go? Is it literally right above my head and I can't see it? There you are. Got it. <laughs> and now I gotta. Oh, great. Who, who got me? Ah, 
I'm not sure what I'm on. Hold on. There we go. Let's get rid of you. We're going to go ahead and get whatever's in here. Even if it's nanites, if I come across another minor trading platform, then I can trade. And have extra nanites. Looks like I did. That one gave me four, so that was good. Let's get up to the top of our place here. A little mountain. Hill. Hillock. Whatever you want to call it. Okay. Let's take a quick peek around and see if we can find anything. I can see pretty far. How many are you? Just the one. We should be heading in that direction, though. But I'm still going to look behind and check. I don't see the area one, so, okay, good. All right. I'm going to take the binoculars out, just check again. I really don't see anything out in that direction, so. Okay, so we're heading this way. As straight to the right as we can get of that planet. Over here ought to do. Take another look from up here. Okay, let's see. I don't see a thing. Not a blessed thing. I'd go there, but I definitely want to head in that direction, because that's going to get me in the wrong direction. So, let's go ahead and head this way. I don't know, something keeps telling me to head over there, though. Gut feeling. Let's take it. Always go with your gut. It's not luck. It's not anything else. It's just... Just instinct. It tells you to go to the highest peak and take a look around. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? Can I get those crystals now? If I can, that's just pure money right there. And we'll keep them in their crystal form. We can get them now. As long as there's no sentinels around, we should be alright. They take a while. There's a lot more crystals here than I thought. So we will keep them in their glowing format. And this is a good find. I just want you to know. This is a really good find for getting money. Because this stuff could be extremely valuable. Man, there's a lot of them here. I don't know how many uh, spaces they're going to occupy. That's the thing. We're going to have to recharge our mining beam, I think, at this point. Again, the good news is there's no uh, sentinels to stop me. Try not to overheat. It does mine quicker when it's red, but overheating means we start all over again, so. I think there's one or two left. Yep, two. Wow, that's a lot. 
Now I kind of don't care that it overheats. Alright, how many did we get? 15 crystals, which is the maximum we can hold. That is fantastic. By themselves, they're only worth 50,000 for the 15 I've got. But when I open them, what's inside is what could be worth a lot. So, we will keep them in their current format until we find some place I can trade them out for. We're running at around, what, 3 million credits? 2.5 million? Just over 3. Hey guys, you're kind of heading in the direction I want to go. I would like to see which direction you head in after this. So I'm going to head over here so I can take a quick peek at you. Let's settle on this rock here. Take a look around while we're here. I don't see anything. And they're heading to the right again. Yeah, I don't know. Again, I have a hunch to get up to this peak, so we're going to do that. Okay, yeah, I just ran out of my running juice, so this is going to be a waste of a blue. Okay. You know what? I haven't checked my life support in a while. Not bad. There's my oxygen over here. And let's go ahead and charge these guys back up. It's funny. Stiff cl cliffside, but I can't... Which I can't climb. But my... But my jetpack thinks... You know... Unbelievable. Eh. Okay. We're getting up pretty high here. Let's take a quick peek back the way we came. What? Is that just a dark patch? Looks like it. Alright. Or a hole in the ground, probably. I wonder if I can... Hmm. We can scan them, what do you know? Well, getting that scanner might have been great, but it didn't give us extra money for them. And we're only going to get a 500 each for them, just about. So, or maybe 300, so it's not really worth scanning them right now. Okay, so we're at the slope I'm looking for. Letting my running recharge before I try to tackle the going up the slope. There we go. We do need that, don't we? Almost 20 minutes? Okay. There we go. So how much did that give us? I just want to make sure we got enough. Okay, good. 116, that can come in handy later on. Alright. Now that we can mine it with our new upgrade. Okay. Let's take a look from this side. There's the highest peak over there. Let's jump over here real quick and take a better look. We're going to go over there too, but I just want to check from over here first. And get a look all the way around. Not seeing much of anything. So this may have been a... Failed attempt, but still not a bad idea to do this. Okay, let's go to the other peak. 
over there. There we go. All right. Nothing. So we're heading in that general direction. That's our next peak we're heading towards. Two ships. I'm hoping with those 15 glow crystals we've got, we're going to get some serious cash out of it. And that'll get us into the stance that we have enough money to buy a ship if we run across somebody. Ouch. Okay, no double hit, but let's check anyway. Okay. Okay, down to 200 on the oxygen. When we get down to about 150 on the oxygen, we'll go ahead and get more. Hey, look. Hopefully some free money over here. Maybe even an upgrade. Oh yeah, great timing. Uh, what is that? Photon cannon module for a starship. I know we could have sold it. Don't worry about it. There's no use in hanging on to those. Those are not going to be worth me worth it in the long run for me, and I can't get much else from can't get much else from uh, the nanite uh, seller. Or pardon me, the upgrade guy. Okay, well, I'm not finding much of anything here. Kind of really wanted to find this one. Because... really like to get this evened out. At least get nine of them, but... Not gonna, not gonna lend it to me today, huh? All right, so we'll check the next one. We're already nighttime again. Err. All right, this way. It's okay. We got two more over there. We'll check those out. Check this one first. Really? I'm already twisting my ankle. Let's check out the ship again. My defaults that way. Oh, there's two of them. I got a double whammy over here. It's one. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Launch fuel, yeah, you really could use that. Not worth it on the selling market, but... There's the other one, let's go ahead and grab it. And it's not even buried, good. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, we got three more, so that's good. It evened it out. That made me feel good. Gets the OCD a little bit happier. Ship that way. Okay. Planet. I meant to say, not ship. Planet. Planet is that way. We need to go that way. And we haven't found a ship yet. Okay. Be clear. Don't want to confuse anybody. What? He saw a ship? No, no, no. Shh. Calm down. Calm down. We're not over yet. 
but we are reaching our half hour mark for this episode, so we'll probably get up to the top of this planet and, uh, pardon me, this uh, hill, and then we'll call it. So I got a couple more other episodes to do besides this one. Just making sure nobody's landing near me. This landing near me is a good thing. I thought it was a ship over there. No ships. We're good. Carry on. Huh. High enough to see the next peak. That's about it. here. Check over here and into the distance as well. Chlorine. Chlorine's not worth that much in permadeath runs. Well, especially when you're on max difficulty with everything set to be very expensive to purchase and very cheap to sell. So that's why I got rid of the Starship fuel, even though it would cost me about a quarter million credits in order to buy one. The selling ratio is terrible. Okay, I don't see anything over here either, even building-wise. Imagine how many buildings I've passed. Heck, I can't even imagine how many crashed ships I probably ran past at this point. Wow, okay. I'm going to steal some of you, and we're going to get to that oxygen patch down there. And we'll pick up a little bit more oxygen. There's two patches. There's one up on the hill over there. Let's head to that one. We don't need a lot. That should be enough. Yep, see? That's good. Up the hill we go. Yeah, can't even see the planets anymore. But I know this uh, hill is in the direction that we're kind of headed anyway. Got a good feeling about those glowstones. Okay, good deal. Sean of the Murrays, as Captain Steve would call you. Can you exert some power and let me find a ship, please? It'd be kind of nice. <laughs> We're supposed to have some storms today. But we'll see. I don't know how true that's going to be. I live in an area in Kentucky that tends to avoid storms sometimes. We always hope for the best, of course. And we don't wish harm on anybody, obviously. But it's just uncanny how a storm system will pop up, throw down some tornadoes, and then not affect us. That looks like a landing pad down there, maybe, but nothing there. I see nothing. All right, so we're coming very fast to the close of this episode. Let's make this one just a little bit longer. Just in case we needed it. Where's my planet that way? We'll head in this general direction for just a little bit. Maybe get up to that little rise over there, and then we're going to call it. So that's going to be our stopping point. Hit this first. I do like the new graphics of these pieces of machinery burning, and then once you clear them out, they go out. 
That's a pretty good idea. Looks like we got some nanites out of that. We're up to almost 700 nanites, so... It's not terribly important, but it works. I'm not even looking at those ships coming by anymore. Unless they want to land. Or circle something to tell me that they're found something. There's really no reason for me to be watching. Yeah, they're headed to the right now. Not circling at all. If they start circling, that's a good thing. Okay, heading down into the valley. Down we go. Good deal. That was a nice safe one. Don't like being in the valleys because... Not much to see down here. And if you're in a bowl, you can't see what's around you. Only up only a very short distance. There we go. Another oxygen patch. Eh, I'll head over there, why not? We'll get some more oxygen, because Lordy knows that's what I can use. Having a little extra oxygen isn't going to hurt me at all. That should be good. Is that... I can't tell. Looks like copper. Silver this time. Yeah, way off. Alright, oxygen... Phosphorus. Okay. Planet this way. Good. Sweet route not interested in. If this was an expedition, I'd be going gaga over it, but it's not the expedition anymore. I found sweet route. Did that expedition in an hour ten, so that was pretty good respectable time. Nowhere near as fast as Jason's 51 minutes, but... Sure. <laughs> nah, we love him. He's a great guy. Alright. Looks like we're heading in this direction. I like that one. That hillock there looks like it has trees on top. We'll go there. Like I said, as soon as we get there... We're done. Having a little extra sodium nitrate is always a good thing. There we go. Try this again. There we go. Heat when I bounce off the hill. Alright. And of course seeing nothing in the distance. So I guess what we're going to do is we're just going to keep this thing going. Um, my longest run is seven hours, but that was with a HUD. Uh, and was on a planet that literally had no landing platforms, as I came to discover. Uncharted system, so no landing platforms. It was really, really a, you know, unfortunate start. Not seeing much. Okay. Not after Nana. It's more after up upgrades at this point. Bullcaster module. How interesting. Yeah. Bullcaster module. I'm not going to dig this time. I'm just going to keep going. Get over to that hill. Try to get up to a rise first, and then punch jump.
Yeah, I'm heading a little bit more this direction. We're going to hit the angle on this uh, hill. And I've got to let that recharge for a little bit here. And the thing is, there are plenty of landing platforms, I'm sure, on this planet. Why they keep sending me in another direction, I have no idea. Uh, looks like just an aberration of the ground. I thought it might have been a ship. Yeah, it's just something in the ground. A feature, if you will. And bam, pop it back. I love that. The, with the upgrade I have on this uh, jetpack, I was hoping this thing would get a little bit longer bursts, but. And we're back to daytime. Good time to end. New region as well. So we're trying to get to the top of something here to take a quick peek around. And then we're going to end our episode here. And we'll pick up again later on. So I might be picking it up this weekend. We'll see what happens. I've got a lot to do. Uh, let's get over there real quick. Self-recharge just a little. Nice, huh? Got to keep on your toes around here. Yeah, this is a little better vantage point here. Good. And that is another save point for us. Not a ship, but I'm starting to get a little bit better feeling that we're coming across something soon. So let's just check up here. better angle on everything and we'll head down there and claim our save point and call it a day. Alrighty. Yeah, nothing out there. Nothing else out there. Okay. Just checking. Thought I saw something that might have been another building, but... Okay, let's head down to there. Oh, well, you know. Lost pilot. He'll recharge my... He'll recharge my hazard protection, usually. I don't need that. There we go. Let's see if he does. I'm curious. Let's go talk to him real quick, and then we're going to check out whatever's in here. Uh, interlopers. All I got out of that. Some heavy burden. I sense he wishes to be left alone. Interesting. So he doesn't want to do a thing for me. That's great. Dude, I just walked like 8,000 miles. So... Uh, what did we get out of that? Looks like nanites, I'm guessing. More fire protection. What do you think? Let's go ahead and take it. But here's the fun part. Uh, what is... Get, stop it. Yep. But here's the fun part. It's... It's superfluous to have it now. And that's fine. You know what? My life support isn't going down. Okay, good. But the fun part is, is that if I have to, if I need some, um, if I'm getting like an upgrade from a crashed pilot or something like that, or from a pilot that's landed near me to trade, and I need a wiring loom, I can uninstall that and get it. So, that would be great. Alright, let's go ahead and call it here. I'm going to go ahead and save here. I might play a little bit longer, we'll see. But we've got other things to do, so. It is now saved. Alright, folks. We'll see you in the next episode. I hope you uh, enjoyed this one. Hit that like. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. You know I've got a lot of content already. got a, well over 120 episodes of uh, 
stuff. So I ramble at times. I talk a lot at times, but enjoy what you hear. By all means, leave comments. I love to respond back to people. So everybody take care and thank you very much for watching.